So we just spent the last 10 hours driving around Bali, Indonesia in a camper van, which we're in right now. And here is where we ended up. Look at this view. So we've just checked out of our villa that we've been staying at for an entire month and we're on our way now to pick up the very first camper van in Bali, Indonesia. Now, let me guys give you just a bit of context before we start this video. So for the last two years, I've been traveling around the world outside of the United States. I plan to continue my traveling and exploring new countries, but in 2020, the pandemic forced me to return home. As the world shut its borders, a new trend began, traveling around the country in a camper van. Now, while it may be a year too late for this trend, I still wanted to experience what it would be like. So join us as we drive around the entire island in the very first camper van in Bali, Indonesia. Uh oh. Okay, well, we're here, oh. I think. <laughs> this is a tight alley. Hi. Hello. Oh, the camera is on. Yeah, always. Yeah. It's always hard parking a car in Bali, especially in tight alleys. Hello, doggy. Hi, Alex. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you, bro? Hey, good. Good to meet you. I'm good, I'm good. In dry, yeah? So just awesome. two of you are traveling? Yeah, yeah, just us two. Hello. Hello. Kintan. Kintan, nice to meet you. So here it is, the donut. Oh. Yeah? So I will explain to you a little bit about the bed. The bed, basically just, you just slide it out. Oh, cool. And you have a full bed, it's the same at the back. Okay? Wow. And at night, you can pull down that window. Uh huh. There is an airflow. Oh, airflow. That's cool. One is your cooking utensils, and one is shower. And here you have your linen. You have table, fan. Okay. You just turn it on. Yeah. It doesn't disturb the car battery. So okay, yeah. everything at the back yeah. is using this battery. Of oh, course. Cool. There is water here. It will flow. Uh -huh. And you can charge your phone here. Oh, cool. So we are using solar panel for the electricity. Yeah. Uh, the solar panel will charge the battery uh -huh. and there are two uh, fuse charge, here, charge, yeah? yeah? Charge. The last part is your kitchen. So, oh. uh, portable stove and dining tools for two people. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Don't forget to buy gas. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not included. Where, yeah. where can I get it? In the market. Okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> okay. It's the easiest place. Cool. Okay. Awesome. So basically that's it. It's yeah. very simple van. Very cool. Ada pancinya kan? Panci ada di sana, Mbak. Oh, okay. Yang kecil. Oh, yeah. uh -huh, uh -huh. Awesome. Oh, wow. The most important thing is where do you wanna go? Yeah, where do I wanna Where's go? Where's the trip? Get to that a little later. Okay. Keys, got it. Alright guys, so this is our camper van. And uh, we're gonna be heading out right now and give you guys a full tour along the way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, I you were... That's okay. Good to go. Awesome. Let's go. Oh yeah. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Here it is. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the road trip begins. Wow. Uh, I left my phone first. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is gonna be an exciting trip. Can you uh can you believe that I can drive stick shift? No. Okay, we're well, about to find out. Wow, this is a narrow street. This is gonna be very interesting trying to figure out how to fit a camper van between all these alleys. We are now trying to find an Indomart or something so that we can stock up on some food and some uh, drinks because uh, we're going to be needing that 
The one thing this place, this thing doesn't have is a mini fridge, I think. Was, he didn't say that there's a mini fridge yet. He didn't have mini fridge. <clears throat> yeah. So I guess we're going to be drinking some warm sodas or, or water today. Yeah. Alright, so. Oh, wow. We're low on gas. We're, the lights already come on, so. Now we got to find a gas station around here somewhere. We have stopped at a traffic light. I have to say, uh, one thing I, I did not expect is that this is a manual transmission. Um, it seems like most of the vans in Indonesia are manual transmission and it's a little hard learning how to use manual transmission in Indonesia uh, because the gears are going to be a little bit different but also because you have to also learn that the steering wheel is on the right side of the car because I am American and the steering wheels in America are on the other side of the car. So it's a little difficult trying to figure that out, but I'm getting the hang of it in the first hour. Wow, we found the gas station. And in the mart at the same time. <laughs> wow, this is perfect. Okay. Here we go. Our first time filling up the van. Woo! We gotta get cash. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, baby. <laughs> the car is still on. <laughs> I have no idea how much this is gonna cost me. So maybe three hundred, yeah. Maybe three hundred. Yeah, let's make a bet. Okay. Let's make a bet. I think it's gonna cost two hundred. No, I think it's gonna be two hundred fifty at least, or three hundred. Um, I don't remember what he said to open the gas tank. So, oh, I think it's this button back here. So this is the button back here to uh, open the gas tank. We've now hit 150k. You, I think uh, you might win this one. It's going to be 200. This thing holds 25 liters, 27 liters, 28, 29. <laughs> how many how many liters do you think this this tank holds? 35. 35. Oh. Oh, wow, you're right. 35. Wow. 260k basically to fill up the whole tank. Yes, I got McDonald's. <laughs> and we have in the mart right across from us. 280k. Woo! I want. I want a bet. Yeah. Hey, All right, we got a full tank. Now it go across Bali. No, in the mart. Oh yeah, in the mart. <laughs> We're going to in the mart first. We gotta get some Indomie for dinner tonight. Turn it on first. I'm still learning this car. Or ah. the van. I'm still learning the van. Right. How to use this. Alright, here we go. Alright, where can I park this thing? I guess I can park it right here. That's great. Go. Well, perfect spot. Perfect spot, yes. All right. And there is the Indomart. Oh crap. I parked in the wrong spot, that's for sure. This is spicy one. Yeah, let's get it. Okay, so we need some Indomie, some snacks, and several drinks. Uh, I wish we had ice. Ooh, so nice. Okay. Nice yeah, bag. <laughs> Are there any cup holders? <laughs> is there one cup? Do you know what is this? Huh? Ashtray. Yeah. They have an ashtray, but they don't have cup holder. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised there's no cup holders in here. Well, since we have no cup holders, I guess we're just gonna leave them here and hope that I don't spill them. By the way, I have no idea what kind of car this is. Daihatsu. 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 I've never heard of it. It's, I think it's from... I don't know from where. All right, much needed caffeine. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and head out on the road now. Um, we'll give you guys our itinerary and the plan for what we're doing today, just in a minute, <laughs> just in a minute as soon as I finish my coffee and we get out on the road.
Okay, one thing I haven't done in this van is put it into reverse. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's got a backup cam. Wow, this is fancy. Oh, this backup van. Backup camera. Backup camera. One thing that's always different with manual cars is where the reverse gear is. Somebody just honked at me. Um, but luckily I figured it out. Man, I am a pro. I feel like a pro right now. Driving an Indone in Indonesia, a manual car on the right side. Yeah. Oh my god. I feel proud. Mantap. Mantap. <laughs> Let's go. Alright. On the road we go. We're about like two hours into the drive actually. We finally made it to the west coast of Bali. And uh, what I didn't expect is that these are small roads. Like I expected big highways. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Uh, but, uh, sorry, I'm getting off track here. Cause I'm trying to drive here. But let me, look at this. There's palm trees everywhere. Palm trees and rice fields. I mean, this is just absolutely stunning. So this is basically what we've been seeing for the last two hours and the plan is now to basically drive all the way up around the coast of Bali from the west side to the north and all the way around to the east coast now and roughly it's going to take about seven hours I think so right now we're kind of behind because we had to stop off to get a few drone shots but overall the scenery is just absolutely gorgeous and uh really excited to see what we're going to see along this drive. So we've stopped off at a local wrong in the very northern part of Bali. It's roughly about like 12.30 now, so we've been driving for over four hours, I think almost. Just stopping off the side of the road, getting a few shots here and there. But the drive is just absolutely beautiful. Amazing rice fields, palm trees, beaches. And just driving through these local towns and villages is just really, really beautiful and uh, peaceful just, you know, driving along the road in this, in this van. The van is really nice and comfortable, actually. I'm surprised. And uh, we'll have to test out today, uh, once we get to our final destination, to see how comfortable it is, you know, laying down, sleeping, and, of course, cooking. So we're gonna cook dinner in it, but we are gonna eat lunch here at the Warong. Very typical dish for me. <laughs> me garang. Very cheap as well. It only cost us 15k, which is like one US dollar. So looks amazing. Hopefully, it tastes just as good as it looks. Can I have one here? Uh huh. It's really nice. Oh wow, this is good. Oh, that's spicy. They've added a lot of chilies in there. Mmm, it's really good. Oh. That was definitely just as good as. It, mm, that was definitely just as good as it looked. Just really spicy. Uh, Ice to manas is gone. How's yours? <laughs> Good. Spicy. Spicy, but that. Yeah. <sighs> really good. I'm glad we stopped off here because our van doesn't have a bathroom. And we've been driving for the last four hours without using the bathroom. <sighs> I'm crying. So, much need a rest stop. Okay, so we're leaving the Warong now. Warong is really tasty. It only cost us 51k for both meals. So, yeah, this is like a really local spot. I mean, look how quiet it is. Wow. 
Got a motorbike driving by. Got some chicken. Got a chicken on the other side there. I mean, yeah. <laughs> this is as local as it gets here in northern Bali. All right. Time to get back on the road. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Woo! By the way guys, this is the name of the Warung if you guys want to stop there. Really good food. Alright, park and brake off. First gear, off we go. Woo! found the road that leads to our campsite <laughs> which is near the beach and um, well as you can hear everything in the back is just basically jumping up and down it's a very bumpy road very local road that is not paved <laughs> and the locals are probably wondering why the heck there's a van coming down this road right now which is probably meant for motorbikes not for vans I mean look at this <laughs> It's not a, it's not a very wide road at all. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Which way do I go? Left or straight? Straight, oh, baby. Straight. <laughs> oh. Ooh. oh my god. There. I have no idea how I'm getting out of here. Honestly. Wow. Wow. Do people park their cars there? Wow. I don't know. <laughs> this is such a tight fit. Oh Ooh. my god. We are not there yet. Which way? Left or right? Let's go this way. Left? Okay, we're going left. What I really want to know is um, if this is a two way or a one way. Because what happens if there's another van or a car that decides to come my way? I have no idea. Okay. Oh my god, look at the cows. Hello, Alex, Alex. Hello. Hi. Which way do we go? <laughs> okay, thanks. It's <laughs> staring at you. Like, what the hell? Alright, well, we made it to the parking spot. I mean, this is. That's the view. And right on the other side is the ocean as well as the sunset so you can't really beat this area it's really beautiful it's just that my parking spot wasn't the exact best and uh well we got to set up camp now i guess Kentanya's trying to figure out the whole tent si tent situation up here but uh yeah overall really beautiful spot just uh, a little difficult to get here so before the sun starts be begins to set let me give you guys a quick tour of what the van actually looks like indira was really helpful in explaining how the van works let me show you guys everything about this van and by the way i'm a real amateur when it comes to van life so this is my first experience ever doing uh, a van or camping out in the wilderness like this so let's start with the back the back is actually a little difficult to open whoa yeah like i said it was really easy to open in the back we have the battery which charges everything under here we have the stove so this is uh, gas powered and you need a canister here to buy you can buy it at Indomart really it was it was really cheap it only cost 20k but this is what we're using to cook Indomie tonight and we got enough utensils for two people so you got plates you got a bowl let me just close this back up ah. nice and easy uh, over here, we've got the electrical panel so you can plug in two USBs. This is your water, so it'll turn the water on right there. That's how you take your showers. This is the... I don't remember what this is. I, don't, I think he said don't touch it, but I don't know. I think this might be... Oh, this is the lights. So we've got fairy lights in here as well. That's the light switch for that. 
This is the sofa slash bed. So this actually extends all the way out and this lays flat into a full bed in the very back. Push this back in. Here is your dinner table basically. You've got two charging outlets under here. And then you've got uh, your fan. Really nice to keep you cool. Close this up. So on the side, we don't really have too much storage actually. Um, under here we've got uh, the blankets as well as the bedding. Under here, this is uh, the gas. All your pots and pans and stuff. This is your shower hose. And then on the very top, as you guys can see, we do have like a roof tent in case it does rain so we can pull that out. And on the top is a spare tire as well as the solar power for the electricity on the van itself. You can just go pro, I can do it myself. We're about to set up the bed. <laughs> oh, we got lucky. This is the right side. That was quick. <laughs> I don't think I've ever set up a bed that quick. No joke, that literally took maybe 30 seconds, if that. Wow, impressive. So about three weeks ago, Cuts sent me a message on Instagram and said they want to send me a special package to Bali. And I want to say special thanks because getting a package to Bali is actually not that easy, especially with customs and getting the ta import taxes covered and all that. They sent me two shirts, actually three shirts now. And uh, they sent me as well a face mask, which I've been wearing today. And it's essentially like a dry fit shirt, but made with other materials. It's absolutely incredible. So if you guys want to order some yourself, I'm going to have a link in the description for you guys. Absolutely amazing product. Uh, can't wait to get my hands on some more of these. Before it gets completely dark and we can't see where we are and where we're walking, uh, we want to check out the beach because we haven't checked it out officially, uh, except for the drone shots that I shot real quick. Uh, but apparently it's a, I mean, we pretty much have beachfront access. It's amazing. And uh, there's a hotel, what looks like a hotel right next door to us as well. There were some kids playing here earlier. And uh, wow, they even have a, one of those hanging palm trees over the, over the beach. That is just beautiful, wow. Black sand. Yeah, and it's a black sand beach as well. Got a nice, beautiful sunset right behind us. Wow, you can't get any better than this, honestly. So we're gonna have an amazing dinner, I think, tonight overlooking this beach. Now the question is, how do we get down here? Um, oh. Yeah, we can walk down. I hope I don't fall. Um, if I fall, this, uh, this is gonna be a very expensive camera to fix. <laughs> but uh, good thing I got shoes on, so should be okay, I think. Oh boy, <laughs> made it. Wow. So this is like the hotel restaurant area, I guess. Uh, I'm not really sure what it is exactly, but they've also got a fishing pier at the end over there with uh, fishermen and a few swimmer, people swimming out there. I don't think very many people actually come out here though. Absolutely stunning. By the way, this is like just an entire field of palm trees with some cows in the background <laughs> mooing. It is just crazy that you can do this in Bali, Indonesia of all places. Wow, this is incredible. I still can't get my head wrapped around that idea that you can go van life in Bali, Indonesia of all places. Um, it's truly amazing. But honestly, I, I, had, I really didn't have high expectations for this trip, especially in a camper van. Um, I'll be honest, I don't enjoy camping that much, so I'm really gonna be interested to see how I enjoy it tonight and tomorrow morning. I'll give you my final impressions, but we decided to move the camper van to get a much better view of the ocean because there's nobody else here now, now that everybody's left, and I can't imagine what the sunrise is gonna look like tomorrow morning from the camper van. This is really spicy. I don't want to give you all of it. Okay, a little bit. <laughs> don't kill me tonight. That's, that looks good. All right, so this is our dinner for the night. It's a very basic uh, dinner. Actually, really good. Kintanya added some sesame seeds. Fancy. <laughs> so I basically have some- It's actually Indo noodles. Indo noodles, oh my God. And uh, we got some corned beef on the top that we fried up. Uh, overall, it took like 20 minutes to cook, very easy. And uh, how's it taste? You tasted it already. Yeah, it's really nice. It's spicy. It's some young guys. Yum. After I ate all that, Hot spicy noodles. You wanna, you wanna look? Yeah, turn on the lamp. 
Let me see how this looks. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> wow, it's like I have lipstick on. I swear guys, I don't have lipstick on. It's just that those noodles were really spicy. Oh my god. the best sunrise I've ever had. Good morning guys. This is probably the most beautiful sunrise I've witnessed. I mean, we literally just opened the door to our van and we have this view of the sun rising over the ocean. It's incredible, can't believe it. Now, of course, you guys are probably wondering how was the sleep in the van in, on the ocean here. Um, I will say this, it was very hot at the beginning because after we finished our dinner, it was still roughly about 7 o'clock and it was really dark. Like, you could see all the stars out at night. There was no light out here at all except for the van. So it was kind of a bit nerve-wracking, you know, uh, pure darkness basically. And uh, yeah, we just literally had nothing else to do, so we we got to we went to bed, and then we checked our phones. It's like 7:30 at night, and we're like, "Why are we going to bed right now?" <laughs> so it was kind of hard to fall asleep, especially because it was still kind of hot out, and uh, the ocean breeze hadn't really come into the van yet. But roughly after about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night, uh, the van finally cooled down, and it was a lot easier to sleep. We couldn't figure out the whole fan situation for some reason though the fans worked but they just weren't blowing any air into the van so the circulation wasn't that great but overall the bed though really comfortable the pillows really comfortable I honestly just don't know if van life is for me though because for one you have no shower I mean we do have a shower but I mean it's not like we can just strip down naked and shower right here on the beach and second of all is that there's no bathrooms so you know, you kind of just have to go to like a, a convenience store or a restaurant or a cafe or warung to go to the bathroom. But, you know, other than that, we had a very enjoyable time with uh, with a camper van driving around Bali. Uh, so this is definitely something you guys need to do. If you have the chance, do it. Even if it's just renting your own uh, regular car, just take a road trip around Bali, around the whole island. You will see some of the most beautiful landscape that you've ever seen here. So we're now gonna go ahead, pack up the van, and rent, uh, take it back to uh, to Dampersar. And then we are flying out today, yeah, this afternoon, to Surabaya. So if you guys want to see the next vlog in Surabaya, make sure you guys subscribe down below. Let me know if you have any questions and comments down below in the, in the comment section, and I will see you guys tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow, that's actually today, no, today, today. Yeah, the next vlog starts today, so I'll see you guys then. Peace. Uh, yeah, it's not lipstick. <laughs>